Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy SW back with another video, but I ain't even gonna cap though. This dude right here is God. If you need a post going build, let's get this video to at least 15 likes. If we can get 15 likes, I am dropping the video for this build, bro. So what we did, what we was doing, we was on the 1v1 courts. And I only put in footage of me playing guys who are actually decent, like the guys that can actually dribble and play the game, because you're gonna run into a lot of guys who actually suck on this shit. I ain't even gonna cap. But I actually put in guys that were decent. As y'all see right here, he's playing some good defense. I'm getting four dribble pickups. I ain't gonna show you guys the attributes for this build because you guys are gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy for y'all to make it. But the build video is gonna come once we get 15 likes. I'll make sure I have the video ready so that way I can just drop it instantly. I don't know if this video is gonna go crazy or not. But y'all should definitely spam up that like button, share with your friends if you haven't. Turn on post notifications too. Like and subscribe. But as y'all see right here, he's hitting threes. The reason why I don't really like this court it's because it's gonna be hard to zip somebody, leave somebody on zero points because they're gonna always get the ball no matter what. It's um loser's ball, it's not winner's ball like how it is in the stage. So right now on these courts, I'll just be warming up for the stage because once I really get nice and practice my post hooks and just get real better and get my player up there, I'm gonna go to the stage and I'm gonna be live streaming. So y'all better be tuning into that. The goal this year or by the end of 2K is to at least have 10, 15K subs. But yeah, we're just trying to go very crazy. We're trying to make this year as fun as possible. Just have as much builds as we can maxed out. Going crazy, bro. Like, usually on 2K, I always start off with a big man. But as y'all know, this is not my main build. My main build was the versatile paint beast. But now this is becoming my main build because I can use this in a wreck in the park on the 1v1 courts and just go so crazy to the point where it's like, yo, I wish I made this build first. But shout out to the guys that I'm playing, man. These guys were actually pretty decent at the game. Um, They were actually tough. I'm not going to lie. These games were very intense games. They were very close. There were games where I was spanking guys like 21 to 6, 21 to 8, 21 to 5. But these guys actually put up a good fight. This guy right here I played, he just kept spamming his square button. I couldn't blame him because I'm a center, I don't have that much ball handle. But he did have a lot of fouls. He had like four fouls when the score was like six, when we had like 16, 13. I'm not too sure what the score was. But yeah, he was fouling like crazy. But as y'all see, man, I am really left with nothing but staying in the post because my post control is the highest thing that I have that can allow me to not get stripped but other than that if i'm dribbling or doing anything he's gonna steal he, he can steal the ball it's gonna be easier to steal the ball knowing that we're playing 2k22 and guys all they do is just spam their square button and foul all goddamn day it's gonna be very easy but i know a couple of you guys are looking for some post scoring builds i had some of you guys pull up on my stream and ask me for my build so yeah like i said man 15 likes we're gonna drop this build video the name of this build is a paint beast so it's not nothing crazy but yes it can shoot yes it can do post hooks Yasi can play great defense, snatch blocks. Yasi can get sharp take. As y'all can see, I got post scoring and sharp take. What build y'all know is going to be able to do that, bro? And we get standing contact dunks. So And we could get Giannis's driving dunks. So I'm going to give y'all the full package. Like, there's going to be some of y'all making this build. Y'all going to have everything. Y'all might have the sharp take. Y'all might have the post scoring take. Y'all might have the y'all might have the 99 standing dunk. Who knows? But are you going to be able to get certain driving dunks? Are you going to be able to have a lot of badges like how I do in each category. I'm telling y'all, man, this build can do it all. I have, I, I even touched my free throw. My free throw, I believe it's at an 80. Like this build is literally the best build that you can make on this game if you run around center. There's no other better center build, like real center in this game. You can literally put this build in shades of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, in shades of Shaq with a jump shot, in shades of Joel Embiid. Anthony Davis, Giannis, you can do whatever you want. You can call this build whatever you want. You can really call this build whatever you want because it can do it all. This build can do it all. And the thing about this build that I like this gameplay right now is that I don't have all my badges. I'm nowhere near all my badges. Especially during this gameplay, I probably don't even I don't even have 10 finishing badges, 10 shooting badges yet. I probably only I only have like five finishing, three shooting. So it's like imagine knowing that I can get 30 plus how crazy this build will be able to go. Now, the guy that I'm playing, he was like, what, I think a 94 over, I'm not too sure. So he has a lot of badges, for sure. Ain't no doubt about that. So I'm going up against a guy who's a guard or a forward, whatever he is, and he has a steal, so he can rip me all goddamn day as long as he wants. The score is 20 to 18. I think he got fouled out right here. He did get fouled out. Well, now nah, he didn't get fouled out yet. But as y'all see right here, he's trying to get some space. He's trying to create some space. He didn't want to go into the basket, so that's why I didn't jump. I knew he wasn't going to try to take it too. Because if he took it too, I was going to end the game. But as y'all see, he's trying to crab me. He has forced to take a bad jumper. I grabbed the board. And as y'all see right here, 
I'm backing up. He steals the ball and he gets the rock, bro. But I get it right back. We not messing around. We are not messing around at all. I put him in the post. You know what we trying to do. We trying to either drop step or post hook. I miss. He grabs the board, bro, because that lock take is saving him. That lock take is really saving him. He shoots, and he shoots a late. If he would have made that, I would have been sweating. I would have been sweating. I ain't even going to cap, but we good. 18-20, we still up two. It's our possession. He fouls, and he gets fouled out. That's the thing about this build. There's going to be a lot of people trying to foul you, and it's, it's not going to work every time. I mean, it's going to be a lot of people trying to steal the ball from you, and it's going to be a foul a lot of the times. So you're not going to steal the ball every time. Yes, we know the steals are OP on this game, but hey, man. That's one victim down. We on to the next one. We on to the next one. Now, this guy right here, this guy was actually, like, he matched up with me. He, I think he was taller than me. He might have been seven foot or seven one. I'm not too sure. Or we might have been the same height. But he was actually pretty good. He had a 74 win percentage. He, this, he looks like he plays 1v1s all day. He averages 19.9 points. He got the ball first in this game. He trying to hit me with a little jab step. I was trying to debate if I should leave him open and just stand in the paint because I wasn't sure if he was able to shoot. But the way he was moving, I knew he was just going to be running to the rim all day. But we get the board. That's some great defense by us. You already know how he rocking, bro. The thing about having these type of builds that really aren't fast enough, you got to have a lot of IQ when it comes to video games. You got to know how to work with what you got. Because you got to understand you're not going to have a lot of speed. You got to understand you're going to be slow. You got to understand if you don't have a lot of badges yet. You got to know how to play the game. You got to actually have skill. It ain't all about just running to the rim. It ain't all about relying on whites. You got to actually be good at certain things, bro. I know it's just a video game, but some of y'all boys is trash. If y'all trying to wager me, hit me up. We could run it up on the 1v1 courts, man. Nah, let me chill, but I, hey, if y'all really want to wager for some content, man, we could wager for some VC, Logger Court. We could do whatever, man. It don't matter. It don't matter to me, man. Just for some content, just for all of us to keep growing. But right here, this is a little good game. Four up. I'm trying to back him down, hit him with a post hook. I miss, but I'm going for the board. I'm trying to go back up. I'm trying to hit him with a little drop step, go straight back up. But you know, 2K always got to be on something different, bro. He blocked me with his waist. Like, why am I not just bringing the ball above my head? Why am I bringing the ball down and then up? This game literally makes no sense. You can't control certain things. He shoots a very late. So right there, I'm like, yo, this man can't shoot. So I'm going to just sag off until I find out that he can low-key shoot the ball. But we ain't going to get into that yet. We're going to wait until the time comes in this video. I'm just trying to really just post him up. I'm trying to, mm, you see that. You see the post hooks. You know we good with that. But he greens his little mid-range shot after I was sagging off. So I had to, I took it L off that. He gets his free basket right back. But six up. We got five boards. Not near takeover yet, but we working with what we got. We working with what we got. We trying to get a little post hook in, and we green that bit again, bro. We green that bit again. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm telling y'all, this build is not the one to play with. If you know me, you know I never used to do post hooks. Like, I'm always going to take advantage of what my build can do best. I'm telling y'all, when it comes to the skill on this game, your boy SD, I likes to take advantage of that shit. I like the cheese. I like the cheese and shit. I like the cheese and shit. If y'all know, if y'all remember the spin glitch last year where you do the little spin dunk, they took that out this year. Like, last year, I used to be wilding with that. For me, I'm not really the type of guy that likes to dribble the ball, curry slide, hide behind screens. I'm the type of guy that likes to play the big man. I likes to do post hooks, drop steps, fakes, all that shit. You feel me? Like I'm a little, I'm, I got that Oham mentality. I really do got that Oham mentality. And if I did, if I did make a guard, I'm not gonna be that guy that's gonna be dribbling all over the floor. Like I'm a lunatic or some crazy shit. Like them little trash ass niggas that be in the park thinking they nice, thinking they fucking run the world just because they running around the court doing curry slides behind the backs, running behind screens. Them niggas suck at the game. Those guys suck at the game. And if you think you are good at the game and you hide behind screens on the two courts, the three courts, just delete the game, you suck. I don't even know what to tell you, bro. But yeah, man, if I was supposed to make a guard, I would be dribbling, of course, doing little combos here and there. But I'm the type of guy that like to get me my assists and shoot my threes. I ain't on none of that extra shit, hiding behind screens, wasting the whole shot clock, waiting until two seconds left on the clock. That shit is for bums, bro. We don't do that. We play the game. You feel me? We play the game and we still bust ass, bro. We niggas, not none, none of that. We are not with none of that hiding behind screens. Most we're going to do out here is set some off-ball screens or set picks. But we're not going to set picks every single goddamn possession. As y'all see right here, the score is 14-12. to 12. We on the 1v1 course. That's what y'all got to understand, bro. 
I know this 1v1 court ain't really nothing too special, so it's like it's not like the stage like that. Like I said, we warming up for the stage. But we on the 1v1 courts. We don't you just feel me like some of y'all need a team. Y'all need them picks. Y'all need a team, bro. I know me and my guys, we can hop on these 1v1 courts and bust some ass. That's all that matters. 14 up. We play, and the thing about me, I don't care what I go up against. I'm always gonna try. I'm always gonna put in the work, man. That's why. If y'all got that same mentality, I need more subscribers like that, man. We could run it up in a wreck. We could do whatever. We could play 2v2s, 3v3s. My win percentage is what? 74%. It's not that good. We're gonna try to get it to 80. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to get some stage content too. So I'm gonna need y'all to really like and subscribe. We're gonna do a giveaway too. I'm gonna go live today and I'm gonna most likely do a giveaway. So make sure y'all tune in if you up to this part of the video. Cause a lot of y'all been slacking. A lot of y'all been slacking, but I know when it's time for me to do a giveaway and y'all miss out, you're going to be like, yo, can you do another one? Can you do another one? And I'll be like, no, you should have been there. You should have been there. You should have been watching this video. But as y'all see, the score is 18 to 16. We just scored 20 to 16. He shoots a terrible shot. We grab the board. We back and out to the three-point line to clear the rock. You feel me? Right here. Could be game. Or it could be shame. And we going green that post. Look, you already know how we rocking, man. It's your boy, S.NPR. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. If y'all haven't, turn on post notifications too. Build video at 15 likes. Smash that like button, man. I appreciate y'all boys for watching this video. Stay safe, stay motivated, stay positive. Peace.